It seems Nina Kempel was made for Alaska. Born in 1970, it didn't take Kempel long to find her calling. I truly love cross-country skiing, and I truly love being out on the trails at Kincaid or trails at Hillside. Um, you know, if you gave me a choice of what I could do in the world, I would pick cross-country skiing. She did pick cross-country skiing, and in particular, cross-country skiing at the highest level. Campbell began competing in World Cup events in 1991, and by the time she called it a career in 2003, she had compiled a resume like no other American woman before or since. Kempel had more than 30 top 30 finishes in World Cup events. She won a record 18 U.S. national championships and was the first American woman to compete in four Winter Olympics. When she wasn't skiing, Kempel didn't exactly sit home knitting. In 1995, she climbed Mount McKinley, and for more than a decade, the 4th of July always found Kempel in Seward, competing in Mount Marathon, a race she won nine times more than any other woman, more than any other man. No doubt Kempel was one tough athlete, but it wasn't just toughness that made her special. Nina possessed the ability to see the finish line and to see herself getting there. Even on the bad days, when you're skiing in the sideways rain up on the glacier, and, uh, you know, it's just a struggle to get out the door. Even on those days, there's glimpses of, of you know, this is, this is what it's all about. This is why I do it. Thank you, and thank all of you guys for coming tonight. This is one of the greatest honors any athlete can, um, can achieve, uh, to, to be recognized by the community that supported them throughout their career. Um, and for some, for, for me personally, it's, it's a great honor to be standing up here with the fellow inductees today. Um, these, and, the, and the inductees in the last two classes of the Alaska Sports Hall of Fame. Um, these athletes were the athletes that I looked up to as a young athlete. These athletes are the, the competitors that I respected. Um, so to be part of this and to be part of the, the Alaska Hall of Fame is, is one of the greatest honors um, that I've ever had. So thank you all.